Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Today, I'm super excited because we are back with another subscriber island tour. And guys, I'm so excited to share this island with you. This is an incredibly beautiful Asian inspired island. So many beautiful Zen builds on this island. Can't wait to share it with you guys. This island is created by our friend and subscriber, Matt. I'm super excited to see this island. Check out the map, oh my goodness two houses to check out here on this island and check out the terraforming you guys i can't wait to see some of these areas especially that upper left hand side really excited to see how this looks in person but look at all the cute villagers we have judy and audie raymond who is this oh pashmina she's so cute i can't wait to see her marina blanche doby oh my goodness he's so precious Rosie, who is my absolute fave of all time, Pico, and Toby. I love Toby. He's actually a current resident on Coco Bell, and I'm a little torn about whether we'll be keeping him on Coco Bell 2.0 or not, but he is an amazing villager, so can't wait to see all of these cuties. Can't wait to check out these houses, too. We have two houses to check out. Dream address is listed there if you guys want to follow along on the tour, but yeah, let's check it out. We have a few prezzies here that Matt has left, left for us, so it looks like we have a fun outfit to wear, so let's get these open up and get changed oh my gosh check this out look at the wig a parasol Ooh, i can't wait to try these on in sandals okay well let's see what we have here super cute love those um let's see parasol oh the wig we're definitely wearing the geisha wig oh my gosh stop i love this this is so perfect for this tour Ooh, how beautiful is this kimono? Okay, we've got to hold the parasol. So now that we are all blinged out and ready to go for the tour, I'm totally loving this vibe. Love the outfit, yay! And I love the flag too, it's perfect for this. Really excited to check out this area here. So let's head out of the airport. <gasps> Whoa, check this out, I love this item. Is this called a Tori? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I really love this item, it's totally versatile. I love the red color, but you can of course um, customize it. It's, it's a really nice item to have to frame out areas. Look at these beautiful streets. I love this little neighborhood area too over here. This is one of the things I forgot to point out on the map when we were looking at it. I love a neighborhood. A villager neighborhood is such a fun concept. It's definitely been super popular in the Animal Crossing community and this is so precious. I love the signs too. I love the signs with the faces. I love that how all of the style of the houses um, have been customized to be a similar Zen sort of style house. It's just, it's really beautiful and goes perfectly with the aesthetic here on the island. Oh, here's the plaza. Okay, so this is where you guys will wake up here. I kind of like to start the um, tours over at the airport, but look at this cute little bridge here leading up to where the airport is. I really love this, this hidden bridge right behind the Tori and these stalls. And look at these lights. <gasps> I love the custom design on those lights too. I'm pretty sure that's one of those cube lights too. So it's amazing how an item like that can look totally different with a custom design on it. Check out this little noodle stand over here. Oh my gosh, with the teddy bear. I love this. Oh, and a plant shop. Check this out. I love this idea. Now Matt says that he has actually visited this area of the world on different occasions, spent a lot of time in this culture, and so it's really great to see how this comes together, especially from someone that has really been immersed and lived in this culture. I absolutely adore this. Love the designs. It's just so beautiful. I love love all of the pink and red, um, just kind of blending in the cherry blossom pattern and all of that stuff. I really, really love this. This is so creative. Check out the noodle stand over here, you guys. I love that so much. What a great idea. All right, let's cut back through here because I'm a little bit lost here for the moment. <laughs> We're gonna head over here, but check out this bridge and the bonsai trees. Oh my goodness. What a great idea to put a bridge right here um, with the bonsai trees around here. I think they're actually called pine trees, that item. They look like the, a giant version of the bonsai pine tree, but really, really lovely. Oh, guys, our first house. We have to check this out because check this out, guys. Bank of Nook. I love this. I think this is probably going to be like maybe I'm assuming a bank, of course, but I'm excited because I actually in real life used to be in the financial banking industry. So I'm really excited to see how this came together. <gasps> what? Stop. I love this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
check out the tellers, you guys. Y'all, this is like, I'm loving this so much. This is making me so happy right now. This is bringing back some memories. Check this out. I love the teller line. Love that we have um, these little fellas here helping out with their computers. <laughs> Ready to exchange the funds and do all the transactions. Oh my gosh, what a genius idea. I love this so much. Really love the Zen vibe in here too. Let's head in this next room over here and see what we have in the back room. <gasps> it's the vault. Stop. I love this so much. This is like making my heart so happy because check out the money flooring. I love the royal crowns. I love all of the gold bricks and the lucky cat. Oh my gosh. And the suitcases of cash. Like this is so perfect. I absolutely love it. And I love the security camera in the corner. That's a really nice touch. Oh my gosh, stop. So well done, Matt. Love it. <laughs> All right, next room. Oh, cool. This is like, I'm, I'm guessing like the security room. Nice. I love this. I love this wallpaper. This is actually a wallpaper I don't think I've ever used in the game, but it's always fascinated me. I love all the little camera views and for something like this, creating an entire house that is a bank or financial institution is just perfect. Absolutely love it. <laughs> what a great idea. All right, next room. <gasps> Ooh, ATMs. Nice. Very nice. And I love the plaques on the wall. That's a nice touch too. We've got a workbench and the fancy, what is this? The pal palace tile flooring, I think. Oh my goodness, love it. I love the dividers, love the ATM machines. Really, really great. I love this concept of taking a house and creating an entire banking system in here. All right, let's head over to the next room. This is the basement. <gasps> Whoa, okay, this is like where the fancy treasure is stored. Check this out, you guys. It's like a really ginormous like storage unit or like a, I don't know what you call it, like a, safety, a giant safety deposit vault down here for all of the fanciest of things. I love the police uniform that's set over here to represent a security guard watching over all the, the precious gems and gold. Really love this concept. What a great build. And the jail bars are a really nice touch too. Wow, love it. All right, one more room. We have the upstairs here. <gasps> Ooh, this is giving me like some serious CEO vibes. Yes, yes, CEO Danny Bell right here. <laughs> love it. I love the sound of that. I think... I'm just going to dub myself the new CEO of this Nook Bank. <laughs> Check this out, though. I love how he has lined the walls with the bookshelves. It's just, it completely changes the dynamic of the room. Love this type of wallpaper. I think it's called the arched window wallpaper, if I'm not mistaken. Just lo really love the look of this. It's got a nice regal feeling with the fancy leather chair and all of the nice banners and definitely still tying in all of the um, sort of Zen vibes into this office as well. Just really, really nice. I love it. It definitely looks like a place where the CEO would hang out for the day. All right. Well, I think that wraps up the house tour. Really awesome to see this first house. So I can't wait to see how the other house is set up once we get there. Totally in love with this. And I love this little custom design over here. I can't stop reeling over this bank of nook design. Yeah, really, really lovely. And the golden roses are just such a perfect touch. All right, let's check this little area out. Lots of cute little sitting areas to check out on this island too. So I hope when you get a chance to come here, you'll get to see it for yourselves as well. Doby, hi buddy. Oh my gosh, he's gotta be one of the cutest um, grumpy types, I swear, in the game. He's definitely cranky, but he's just a lovable cranky, I feel like. Have you guys ever had him on your island? Have you had Doby? Let me know in the comments what your opinions were because he just seems like super cute. And perfect. This is actually Dobie's house. And look at this beautiful koi pond that Dobie has here in his yard. What a great way to create the look of a pond by using QR codes and creating the look of a faux water and with the koi fish. Just really, really well done. We're going to check out the front part of this little neighborhood and then we'll probably explore the beach area over there as well. I really love these signs. Love the light up signs with all of the villagers' faces. Such a great idea. All right, I think this is actually the beach entrance, so let's check this part out first. <gasps> Ooh, it almost looks like this is like a fish market, like an outdoor fish market or something like that. Oh my goodness, I love all of these fish and sea creatures that are placed out here. 
there's some fish bait that's really nice and handy to have if you see a big fish out there and you <laughs> just have it ready, readily available to use. Very, very nice. I really like the use of the Festival parasols as well. That's a really fun item and I feel like it's nice to see that used in this build because I love how the blue and white sort of ties everything together and all the details like these little fish bins set out. Um, some of the fish, if you catch them in the game and see creatures, when you place them, they actually are in tub containers like that instead of in a little aquarium. So it's just a nice touch for decorating. Oh, who's this? We have a little fishing fellow friend here on the pier. What is he doing? Oh, he's not catching anything. <laughs> what a great idea. Very clever. I love it. All right, let's head down the beach in this direction because I don't want to miss any of this. Oh, what's, this almost looks like a little fancy area. Oh, spa. Okay, so this must be like where you check in at the spa to enjoy a nice spa day. Very cool. Pico. Oh, she is so cute. Just beyond precious. What a perfect villager. She is the perfect vibe for this island. Our friend. Hi, Matt. Keep on traveling. Oh, I love that so much. Love it. I definitely want to see all the places in the world. <laughs> all right, let's head through here. Nice pergolas. And then, oh, here's the spa, guys. <gasps> Check this out. He's turned his peninsula into this spa area. I love this idea. I do love a great outdoor spa. It's, it's definitely a nice, fun type of build to have on an island. And just so many, like, really great items to use in a build like that. Love the Cosmo showers. Just a really nice, fun little area over here on the edge of the beach where you can relax and have a day of fun and relaxation outside. Yeah, really love it. All right, I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit here. I think we need to see this area because this is directly behind the neighborhood. <gasps> Whoa, check that out. That is so beautiful. I love the idea of these statues all lined up with the castle wall behind it. Oh my goodness, I love this. Wow. Now, I've not had the privilege to see areas of this area of the world, so this is all new to me, but I really love the vibe on this island. It's always great to see inspiration done by people that have either been immersed in that culture, lived there for a time, visited a lot on their travels, um, because, you know, you're probably getting, you know, a lot of different inspo inspiration ideas that are realistic to the culture, which is always so awesome. I love being able to visit an island and feel like I've visited a certain area of the world that I haven't seen before. Oh, okay. Is this like a garden area? I love this. All of these fields, these floating fields. Oh my gosh. What a fantastic display over here. And the gong, like I had to hit the gong, right? I love the look of this. I love the custom design on these stalls. Love all the details over here. I love that you can sort of look down over this and how fun is this to have these two in um, inclines right here? You kind of go down and then back up. I love it. So well done. Love the look of these fields. Really nice. All right, let's hop back over here. I want to show you what this looks like a little bit better before we move on. Just very, very nice. I love this. Really well put together. Right, let's hop back over here and we're going to keep going because there's a lot more to see on the island and I don't want to miss anything. <gasps> Whoa, look at this Zen garden area. This is so beautiful. I love this custom path too. I'm sure this probably takes up a ton of custom design slots, but how worth it. Oh my gosh, check this out. So beautifully put together. I love this custom design. It's just so relaxing and totally Zen. I gotta take a couple pics here. Sorry, y'all. I'm like the paparazzi today. <laughs> I love that the camera angle does this too. This is a really nice touch to have the ability to turn the camera on an angle now. I don't know. I feel like I use it all the time since we were given that ability on Animal Crossing since the 2.0 update. So lovely. I really like this. Let's check out the other side here real quick. Wow. Love the cherry blossoms too. The bonsai plants, looks like there's a little bug friend over here crawling around. So nice, I love it. Really nice. I love having the ladders too. Do you guys love the ladders in the game? I feel like they were a game changer for sure because since we're still limited on having a certain number of bridges, 10 bridges, 10 inclines, it is really nice to have the ladders 
to be able to access like ex access areas that you normally would have to carry a ladder. <gasps> Whoa, check out this custom design, you guys. This is like that painting that Red sells us. Whoa, that is awesome. Oh my goodness. And check out all of the beautiful art over here. This is an amazing display of Asian art. Just beautiful. What a beautiful culture. I really love all of the thought and um, emotions that go into this type of art and decorating. It's just so beautiful. Check it out. I love that so much. I love having something, all of these little custom designs that fit together to make a beautiful portrait. Yeah, really, really nice. Wow, so well done. I love it. Okay, let's go up here. Fancy double staircase. <gasps> Villager photos! Stop! Oh my goodness. I love this. This is almost like a flex for sure because the amount of time it takes to gain all of the friendship points for all of these villagers oh my gosh so much respect for that because that takes so much time to do that but i really love that highlighting all of the villagers on the island through their photos and i just love all of the little peaceful areas that he's created on this island so well a little dog oh my goodness love the puppy plushie love all of the the fish statues as well also a lot of effort to catch all of the fish to have those crafted. Yeah, totally love it. Little area where you can hang out and have some tea. Yay, I can't even get over these pictures. I love that. Because why not? If you take the time to earn all of these friendship points and get these photos, definitely totally worth showing off for sure. All right, let's head inside. This is the other house. This is the first player house. So I believe this is Matt's house, if I'm not mistaken. So let's pop in and see. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting like sort of a restaurant vibe almost maybe in here. It's almost like a lobby where you would check in. Wow, and it's so sparkly. I love it. So clean and polished. Love the lucky cat, the golden lucky cat. Just a nice setup. I love all of the Imperial items. That's a really great um, furniture set in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I love all of the Imperial furniture items and I love the brown toned ones. They have to probably be my favorite of all of them, but it's just a really fancy, nice furniture set for sure to be able to use. All right, let's see the back room over here. <gasps> Ooh, nice. This almost looks like a private um, room where you could sit and eat maybe like a private party room nice I love that custom design on the floor too the bamboo on the floor to sort of create the look of a bamboo mat entering the room really really nice this really makes me feel like I'm on vacation in this area of the world and it makes my heart so happy wow love it all right let's head over to the next room Oh, wow. This is almost like an indoor spa. So this must sort of be like similar to maybe a resort, like a, a resort where you can hang out and get a room and hang out at the spa, have some, have a nice meal and relax. Like, I love this. And from what I understand, this culture is very, very much into the experience of eating and enjoying meals. And you can tell that they really value relaxation and peace, which, oh my goodness, I'm all about peace. <laughs> yeah, I really love this. Just such a nice, cozy vibe. Wow, check this out, the futons. I really love this cherry blossom wallpaper too. I'm a huge fan of this. I know we've used it a few times. Um, if you are newer to the channel and you missed the Sugar Bell journey, that was actually a farm core type of island that we just finished. So if you haven't seen those videos, please check out the Sugar Bell playlist. But we did a build for Shino and we used that cherry blossom wallpaper in her house and it turned out really, really nice. <gasps> Whoa, stop. Is this like a restaurant? I love this. It's almost like a, like a sushi bar, maybe? Oh my gosh, love. Check this out. This is so beautifully put together. And I really, really appreciate that he has spent a lot of time in this culture. And it makes me happy because I feel like for those of us that haven't had the wonderful experience of being able to visit certain parts of the world, especially with the state of the world, um, with COVID and all that stuff. It's just so nice to be able to visit people's islands, especially if they've had the privilege of being able to experience these cultures in person, because it really does give you the feeling like you're visiting this part of the world. And that makes me so, so happy. 
I love this. Look at how he has created this little bar area where you can sit with the stools. And I'm loving all of these new food items from the 2.0 update as well. All right, let's check out the basement. <gasps> Stop, it's like an arcade. I love this. It's sort of like a cosmic arcade. Check out that flooring, you guys. I love this, wow. Love the vibe in here. It's just really futuristic and fun. I love the look of the wallpaper too. I don't know that I've ever used this wallpaper. I think um, maybe Cephalobot has this wallpaper in his house. Um, but yeah, love all the arcade games. Love the pool table. This is like the perfect type of build to be able to use a lot of those types of items. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. The crane game is just off the hook. So cool and so cute. <gasps> oh, a pipe. Okay, let's jump in. I always love a good pipe. Like, let's, we have no, I have no idea where this leads, so we're about to find out. Where are we going to be popped out at? <gasps> oh my gosh, we're back in town. Awesome. I love that. I love the Mario pipes. They're so much fun. So we're actually, it looks like we're back, I think, towards the middle of the map, maybe. We're over by, oh, over towards the right-hand side, because we're over by the cranny. Check this out. The cranny all blinged out with the summer vibe going on. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop right now. This is like my new fave, I think. KK Records. Oh my gosh, I love this. And check out the record boxes and the little gyroid guy doing a little headbanging over here. Like, stop. This is like my new fave. How amazing. I love this build. So fantastic. And it's right next to Abel's sisters as well. And check out how Able Sisters is directly behind the plaza. I feel like that is fantastic. You don't see that a whole lot, but I'm a big fan of, um, especially if it's a town or city core vibe, like having all of the businesses close to the plaza is really, really nice. Um, especially if you're starting the game from the beginning too, it is nice to have all those buildings close to each other. This is so beautiful. Check out the dedication, you guys, to these rocks being on these separated platforms oh my gosh like that had to have taken so much work and so much planning and look how beautiful such a beautiful garden so thoughtful to do all of the rock corralling to to achieve this design like wow so impressive all right let's keep going this way there's that beautiful custom design again i really love that theme that's sort of intertwined all throughout the island and look at these beautiful waterfalls, you guys. I love this um, walkway. It looks like it's sort of leading up towards the museum, but check this out. This is so lovely. We've got a bit of a perspective build going on over here with these, I think, is this a pagoda? I, I wanna say this is a pagoda item, but it's an older item, but I really like how this is brought together and sort of tying in the secret beach back here is really, really great. It's been definitely something I've seen a lot more um, not only on you guys' islands, but just generally out in the Animal Crossing community, having the secret beach sort of on the first level and open like that, I think has been really great. A lot of people have been doing des different designs pertaining to that, and I absolutely love it. So nice. Oh my goodness. I love the use of these arches. I love those arches, definitely. They're such a great item. Oh my goodness, wow, totally love it. I've actually been working secretly on our Coco Bell entrance, working on that to be one of our next videos. So be on the lookout for that because I definitely plan on using a ton of those arches. I've been working out a design with them. And they're just a really great item to be able to use. I wanted to climb up here because it almost looked like you could get to other places from here, but I could be mistaken. And I don't wanna miss anything on this in this area because it's just so beautiful. It's just so relaxing, I can see like this place just being a really great island to hang out and unwind and after a long stressful day just coming here to hang out. <gasps> Pico! Oh my gosh, check this out. She's hanging out in this beautiful cherry blossom area. I love these botanical flowers. All the villagers are hanging out here, including Marina, who is definitely one of my faves as well. We've got a kimono sewing area. Oh my gosh, what a great idea sewing machine and the loom and showing off some of the beautiful kimonos that are being made over here. So lovely, what a great idea. Okay, this is actually the walkway up to the museum and I've been wanting to see this. This is one of the places I wanted to see on the island. <gasps> Look at all the staircases dedicated to this area, you guys, but how beautiful. 
so lovely. I really love all the cherry blossom petals on the ground and oh my goodness, it's just so lovely. I do love a double staircase up to the museum. It's definitely a sacrifice to give up two staircases, but how beautiful. So well done. We have this beautiful little Zen cemetery area over here, paying homage to ancestors. Yeah, just really lovely. And how nice is it to have the museum up on this top tier? Like, it's just, I feel like it definitely has a huge, beautiful presence, especially for such a regal building like the museum. Really love the look of that. It definitely has a grand entrance for sure. I love all the cherry blossom lanterns sort of blowing in the breeze and just really loving a lot of these custom designs that he's chosen to feature on the island. Okay, let's backtrack through here because I am slightly lost, admittedly, guys. I'm so sorry. We're going to backtrack through here because I think there's one other section of the island that I wanted to check out before we finish up the tour today. Whoa, look at this beautiful sitting area and this outdoor cafe. And look at the Brewstoid. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love the Brewstoid. Love all of the bread. Check out this custom design, you guys, with the bread and pastries over here on the wall behind here. Love a little cafe on an island for sure. I'm an avid coffee drinker. I swear I drink too much. I probably have like three cups a day, which is, I know that's probably bad for me, but I do love it. Look at this little overlook area over here and this beautiful outlook. Oh my gosh, this overlook. Stop. Is this a land bridge? I think this is what I've been dying to see all along. So check this out, you guys. <gasps> what check out this perspective build oh my gosh i love these doll houses being used as a perspective check this out oh my gosh and this diagonal land bridge like yes 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 and yes love it I'll try to get out of the way here so you guys can see it i apologize but check this out i love this diagonal land bridge this is such a fantastic idea you can see all of the houses down there on the opposite side. Oh my gosh, love it. What's this over here? <gasps> Ooh, it's almost like a subway or like a train station. Check this out, you guys. Look at this, another fantastic perspective build. Matt, you really have a way with the perspectives. I really love this. Check out the modern windmills in the background, utility poles, and check out how he has used these retro canisters, I think is what they're called, as trains to look sort of like a train in the distance. So well done. I do love a nice perspective build, and this just looks so nice. I love how this came together. I love all of the custom designs here, the roadway as well as sort of like the track and this, the subway, I don't know what you would call it, like where you wait for the subway to pull up, that little waiting or standing area. Yeah, really, really nice. I am in love with that diagonal bridge. So, so nice. Okay, let's head back over here because like I said, I don't want to miss anything, but I feel like we have to cut back through here to get back to the front of the island. I really love how all of this has been put together. I hope that you guys will check out Matt's Island in person for yourselves. Um, there's a few areas over on the beach over on this side that I want to go check out before we head back. But definitely if you come here for yourselves in person, check out this area on the beach over here. It looks like there's tons of more just lovely decorating ideas on this side. We've got a beachside restaurant where you can stop and have tea. Oh my goodness, I love this. So, so nice. I don't know if, I don't think I can hop across there, but check that out. Love the custom designs again used in this. Let's head back over here because I want to check out this rock as we kind of meander our way back to the airport on this island. Um, by the way, Matt's Island is called Paradise, and I'll be sure to show you the map one more time before we finish up so that you have a chance to come visit and see the dream address. Oh my gosh, stop the painting area. I love to paint in real life, and so it's just it's really fun to see all of the painting ideas. Love the Detail of the paint splashes on the rock. Love the paint cans. Yeah, just so nice. And I love how he has very thoughtfully set up um, the statue and the shell bed over here to sort of give the illusion that someone is drawing real life inspo for the painting set up here on the easel. Yeah, really, really love that idea. So clever. We're going to check out this last stretch of beach here on the way to the airport. This is like a little farmer's market on the beach. I love it. I do love a farmer's market on the beach. This is just such a great area to fill in with something 
um, that is not necessarily beach related, but he's done such a nice job setting up all of these items, all the pastries. Just a, looks like a nice, fun place to kind of stroll around on a Saturday and hang out. Perfectly set up. Oh my gosh, stop. Check out the information booth over there too, you guys. You have to go check that out on the way back to the airport, but look at this. I love it. Love the little market sign as well, but I love this information booth. What a great idea and what a nice touch using these cube lights with the, with the QR code, um, custom code decorating it. It completely changes the look of that item. Really, really awesome. I love how all of this came together. Wow, what a lovely tour. Oh my goodness. So you guys, please check out this island. Thank you so much, Matt, for sharing your island of paradise with us. It's been really fun exploring and seeing all of the amazing Zen vibes that you brought um, to bring your island together. Just really a nice, beautiful decorating ideas as far as tons of places and, and inspo all over the place for you guys. I thoroughly enjoyed seeing the bank that you have set up for one of the houses and just so many beautiful Zen gardens on this island. I hope you guys will check out the island of paradise yourselves. Um, you know, just to kind of get some ideas for your islands to sort of take back and, and tons of inspo. I just really, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Matt, again, for sharing your island with us. If you are a subscriber on the channel and you would potentially like to see your island featured on the channel, in the description of most of my videos, you will find a subscriber island tour request form. Um, so please feel free to check that out. I'm also looking for more Happy Home Paradise builds to tour on as well. So if you've done a lot of stellar builds on Happy Home Paradise and you're looking to have that toured, please check out that separate form also in the description of the videos. Here is Matt's map of paradise one more time. So I hope you'll come visit in person. Lots of great ideas. I super, super love um, the KK Record Store as well as the Villager Neighborhoods. Just really well put together. Thank you so much again. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Next up on the Island of Cocoa Bell 2.0, we're looking to work on the entrance of the island. So if you're looking for some entrance ideas, definitely going to be doing a ton of terraforming in that video. So please join me for that. Wishing you guys all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.